Hey everyone, it's Blaze from Blazing on Board and today I got something uh, I think cool to share with you. Um, this is going to be one of my smaller projects or, or I can call it like smaller projects because um, there's plenty of things I, I'm doing, I like to do and um, this is one of the projects that I'm doing like in between bigger ones. So something that will keep me in like uh, in this uh, routine of doing uh, really cool stuff, but uh, at the same time, it's not just something big that I'm gonna spend a lot of creative energy on. So basically, something more for for relax. So um, today, I'd like to show you how I am repainting um, dial covers uh, for X-wing uh, miniatures. Uh, I, I want to do it because of two things. First one is that uh, those things are a bit rough on the edges, so I like to like um, basically uh, prepare them to be like nice in in touch. I'd say like something to, nice to be handled. And second thing is they are in absolutely hideous color for me. It's like brownish, reddish thing. So I absolutely hate this color and I just want to do something uh, in my color scheme, something that I am uh, happy with. So basically visually uh, satisfying and uh, well, basically that's it. That's, that's what I want to do and that's what I'm going to show you. I'm doing a video about it because I've seen online quite a few, um, how to say it, um, I'm quite few people who were asking questions over the years so there was actually quite a few people asking questions how to paint that kind of stuff and, and uh, people having problems with like paint chipping off uh, and so on and so on so basically uh, I'd like to show you how I'm doing it and uh, that's it maybe you're gonna get some inspiration from them or maybe it's gonna be like entertaining piece of uh, video so well, let's get to it. At the very beginning, it's good to wash them through. So I'm gonna scrub some grease from them and make sure that they're completely clean before priming. For removing sharp edges I'm gonna use hobby knife and files, it will be quick job. Now, when dial covers are clean and smooth, I'm going to use Army Painters Ultramarine Blue as a first cover as a primer. I needed just two quick and very smooth layers of that primer. I decided to use black ink to get in all recesses to provide proper contrast for brighter blue colors. Thanks to highly pigmented and runny nature of ink, it gets quite easily into recesses and stay there to dry and give proper matte black color. On the top parts of the dial I decided to use Warhead Blue metallic paint from Mi Jimenez. I find it to be very good paint because it got excellent coverage and it leaves absolutely fantastic finish. After letting it dry for a few minutes, I decided to paint sides and bottom of the tile cover as well. And exactly the same process I repeat on the markers that are on the bottom on the tile cover.
Now it's time to paint that rebel sign red. For that I'm going to use Army Painters Pure Red as an undercoat and then later on I'm going to paint it with metallic red again from me Jimenez. As you can see the rebel sign currently pops out really on the black and blue cover. Lower elements inside the cover I'm going to paint with bluish titanium also from Mickey Menace as it is again really fantastic paint for that kind of job. As you can see it's almost done but last details and highlights I'm going to pick with mud aluminium to let the dial get this very kind of like a used nature. As a last part of painting process I'm going to mix MIG Jimenez gold and army paint is tainted gold in proportion one to one to later on use it as a proper highlight for a rebel sign. For me the dial already looks quite spectacular so I decided to finish here and cover the dial with a gloss varnish to let the metal parts pop out and at the same time it will allow the cover to be used for a long time. After just a few hours of work OC's dials look amazing and covered with three layers of varnish they are going to stay like that for quite a long time. So yeah, it's all done, all finished. As you can see, the dials looks quite nicely, at least for me. Uh, they, in my opinion, they look way better than in, in their raw state. So I really, I really like that kind of little projects because uh, they keep me focused uh, on little things and also allow me to, um, how to put it, to train to to expand my skills as well. Because for example, with these dials, I was um, practicing my edge highlights so um, I will try to to do a little thing a few little things in here and uh, I try to keep it as basic as I can but also at the same time I try to make them quite nice so I think I managed to do that and uh, I really like the effect thank you for watching and I hope I'm gonna come back to you with more content see ya